A Northwest Wisconsin tradition is right around the corner. The American Berkebeiner kicks off next week, but with a few twists on the decades-old race. CBS 3's Peter Kapikowskis explains. Just like many things this year, the pandemic has forced the American Birkenbeiner to make changes. This year, that means some will be racing the Berkey virtually. And virtual Berkey is really something that's pretty crazy. There's over 40 virtual sites that we can consider a official sites, if you will. They've agreed to groom every day and even have course markings and things like an aid station. But on the flip side, there's also sometimes people might ski in their backyard. While nearly 5,000 racers will participate in the race in person here in Cable, new this year, you can race virtually using your phone or GPS and allowing you to bring the race here to the Nordic Trails at Spirit Mountain. Spirit Mountain will have designated groomed trails between February 20th and 28th for virtual race participants. Spirit Mountain co-director of resort operations John Reginald says Spirit Mountain jumped on the opportunity to host a virtual trail. And what we have here at Spirit is some great Nordic trails and so um, why would we not want to be a part of it, really? I mean, like, it's cool. The, the Berkey's always fun, and to be a part of that is a great thing. Also new this year, participants will not necessarily have to ski the Berkey. You can ski, mountain bike, or swim the distance of the Berkey, to name just a few options. Organizers hope that, although different, it will still remain an enjoyable experience. You know, when this is all said and done, hopefully everyone had an amazing Berkey experience, no matter what it was. Again, we know that it's not a one-size-fits-all Berkey this year, but whether you ski your Berkey in southern Wisconsin or northern Michigan or you mountain bike it in California or you kayak it in North Carolina, hopefully it was a Berkey experience that was memorable. Virtual participants can race in their own neighborhood from the 20th through the 28th and then submit the results online. Meanwhile, the in-person events begin a week from Wednesday. Those athletes will compete on a looped course that starts and ends in cable. No fans will be allowed this year and we will bring you full coverage next week.